I make it up, some of you have a sugar daddy or a sugar mama headed your way. Now, they might not be that much older than you, but it's giving, what it's giving me is that they, they have money. They're ready to settle down. I can't make it up. Look at this courtship. They want to come in and court you. Look, I'm not going to judge anybody, but for some of you, this is a real commitment and it's somebody older. Now, for some of you, they're much older than you. For others, they're not that much older than you. They just come off as very mature for their age. But regardless, the one thing that is very much certain about this individual is that they want marriage. They're very clear on that. They want to settle down. Now, I'm going to be honest here. Some of you, you're just... You guys are going to manifest a vacation. Could be a vacation to Puerto Rico. To the Bahamas. Some of you could be going on a cruise. For some of you, this new person is Tauros, and they are, you know, they're wealthy. For some of you, this person could be an actor, an actress, a model. It could be uh, someone that has worked in the entertainment industry, like in the sense of movies, being on TV, okay? Or they could have been behind the scenes. They could have been a photographer, videographer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing celebrity status for some of you. Like, this person is very, very well off. Then you have the higher fan. I know some people in the comments. Yes, my person is a Tauros. A celebrity. For some of you, this person could very well be, like, a director for movies, for films. You know, for some of you, they could very well be a Tauros, a high-value Tauros woman or man. I'm hearing something about butterscotch flavoring. I, I don't know if that's a thing or not, but butterscotch flavoring, that's really specific. I'm also hearing something about rum. Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Starseed Zayed here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is your general read for July 22, 2022. Excuse me. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Crosswatchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. Also, if you wish to support the channel further, you can click the heart icon underneath this video. And whatever you leave with me, I'm truly grateful for. And for those of you interested in any of the decks that I use, you can check the description box. So with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guides in the street for my cancers. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So we have number four. Oh, we have the south node. Hmm. And then we have Sagittarius. Very interesting. So we could see the temperance card, the emperor, the fool, the tower. We could also see the moon card. Some of you could be a life path number four. Yeah, I'm getting a name. I'm getting Donna. I'm hearing the name Donna. Also Sharon. And Claudia. I just heard those three names. And then Victor. Anything else, Spirit? Charles. I heard Charles. Lucy. Jasmine. Lisa. Okay, I'm hearing something about, <clears throat> oh, they definitely don't want me to say this. Somebody doesn't want me to say this. I'm hearing something about butterscotch flavoring. I, I don't know if that's a thing or not, but butterscotch flavoring, that's really specific. I'm also hearing something about rum. So, I don't know. Take whatever resonates. But uh, let's see here. What do we have with the Kipper deck? What do we have, Spirit? For my Cancerians. Okay, we have a mature woman. We have a mature woman coming up here. What else do we have, Spirit? Oh, the spare. So there's a mature woman in the spare. A mature feminine energy in the spare. What else do you have to tell me, Spirit? Family room? Thief. Oh, can cancer. 
Good Lord in heaven, the lovers. And what else? Journey. Oh, mature man. Okay, I'm just going to say this. Some of you have a sugar daddy or a sugar mama that's headed your way, okay? This person might be older than you, but they're rich. They have money because you literally have, yeah, look, literally, you have mature woman, mature man, and then you have marriage right underneath the mature man. I can't make it up. Some of you have a sugar daddy or a sugar mama headed your way. Now, they might not be that much older than you, but it's giving, what it's giving me is that they, they have money. They're ready to settle down. I can't make it up. Look at this courtship. They want to come in and court you. Oh, cancer. So it's very likely you're going to cross paths with this person. July 2022. Now, I want to know why despair is there, but you have family room. Okay, cancer. I, this This can't be any more obvious obvious but you have family room and you have thief so someone in your family is a thief so you need to watch out yeah the the person there's that's not for everybody but it's someone with dark brown hair dark brown hair i'm hearing something about college so they could be in college or there could be a thief this could be someone's daughter or someone's son, and they're in college, and they're in the college dorms, and whoever they're dorming with could be a thief. <clears throat> but for others, it's a thief in your family. Then you have the lovers and journey. I feel like it has been a long, hard journey for love. I'm going to be honest for you guys. I feel like it has been a long, hard journey. But you're closing out that cycle. It's about to come to an end because you have number 10 there, right? 10 is the end. You're, you're about to come to the end. You know, you're about to find true love. So keep the faith. Keep the faith, my beautiful Cancer. Here we have strength in reverse. For some of you, the thief and the family is a Leo. Here we have Knight of Pentacles. I wanted to land in the middle, so I'm going to leave it there. Death in reverse. So you have two major arcanas here in reverse, and they're both fixed signs. So this is Leo, and this is Scorpio. <clears throat> the Sun and Pluto. Very interesting, because Pluto is a planet that's very dark. It's a planet of great death and destruction. Also a planet of sex, rebirth, um, genetics science okay a lot of logic behind pluto whereas the sun is all about abundance expansion light happiness bliss so you have opposites here in the energy <clears throat> heavy heavy throat chakra blockage knight of wands ace of pentacles wow Eight of Swords. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, watch out. Oh. What is the Ten of Swords representing? Because you have the Devil and the Ace of Wands. You have two people here, but someone here just wants something sexual. It's not the mature man, mature woman. This is like a past energy. You have two people here in love, Cancer. Now, this person, the ending was brutal. This past person, the ending was bru brutal. Excuse me. I'm hearing the name Jacob. Um, I am also hearing the name Leslie. But it's like this individual wants to come back in, but they're coming back in with a very sexual energy. Okay? They want to be intimate with you. They want to have makeup, S-E-X. Okay? They want to make love to you. But you have the Knight of Pentacles here. Depending on who you're interested in, this is the mature woman or the mature man coming in they're a little slow with their approach but they're coming in okay and this is a very logical person this is someone that has money okay um look i'm saying it for some of you like it, it's look i'm just saying it as a joke right sugar daddy sugar mama they might not be that much older than you and you know a sugar daddy a sugar mama someone you go on dates with to get money 
it could literally be that for some of you, this may be a sugar daddy, sugar mama situation where you go on dates with this person and they give you money. You know, you might be very attractive. You know, you might be a very pretty woman or a very handsome guy, right? And they, you know, they want to sit in your presence. And hey, it's inflation. If they're going to pay to take you out to eat and compliment you, uh, look, I'm not going to judge anybody. But for some of you, this is a real commitment and it's somebody older. Now, for some of you, they're much older than you. For others, they're not that much older than you. They just come off as very mature for their age. But regardless, the one thing that is very much certain about this individual is that they want marriage. They're very clear on that. They want to settle down. Now, I'm going to be honest here. Some of you, you're just... You're just not feeling it, okay? I'm gonna be honest. Like, some of you want a little bit more excitement out of your life, okay? Some of you are going to consider the past person's offer, even though it's just mainly physical. I feel like the other per the past person might ghost you, though, if you get involved with them. <clears throat> Eight of Cups. What else, Spirit? Four of Wands. Yeah, it's literally showing a lot of you just walking away from that situation with the past person. Just leaving it in the past. Three of Wands. It was like too, too much... Too many third parties interfering. Here we have the, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, you see, that's the new energy. Yeah, King of Pentacles, very mature energy, somebody very financially stable, this is what I was saying, sugar daddy, sugar mama. Um, but they are kind of, they're like very logical and very set in their ways, and you might clash. I'm just going to be honest, you guys might clash, because I feel like you're very free-spirited, you're very outgoing. Um, you're very intuitive, but this person is very, I don't want to say 3D, but they're just very, like they, they're, they're tied to a lot of things in this world, if that makes sense. Wow, but you see, you guys will end up marrying each other. If you guys stick together, you guys will end up marrying each other. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, regardless of your situation, right? Regardless of your orientation, you will end up marrying each other. This individual wants to put a ring on it. Or you're going to put a ring on this individual. Yes, we're saying yes. Ace of Wands. Then you have the Hierophant. I know some people in the comments. Yes, my person is a Tauros. A celebrity. For some of you, this person could very well be like a director for movies, for films. You know, for some of you, they could very well be a Tauros, a high-value Tauros woman or man. Knight of Cups, yeah, they're making the offer. I see a lot of you, like, you're hesitant to move forward with this. I don't know, the Three of Wands, it's like, I feel like you could be conflicted with the past person, some of you. Not all of you, but just some of you. Time off. Some of you just want to take time off from love, or you're going to take time off. Manifestation. You guys are going to manifest a vacation. Could be a vacation to Puerto Rico. To the Bahamas. Some of you could be going on a cruise. Yeah, the wheel. Everything's turning in your favor. It might have felt like everything was moving slow, but you have learned a lot of lessons, is what I'm seeing here. And your soul is ready for new. New experiences. New opportunities. New people. It's out with the old and in with the new is what I'm getting here. New wave of energy. Business. Yeah, you see, some of you don't, just don't want any business with this past person. Yeah. 
coldness because there was an absence of love. They want to reconciliate with you, but you felt alone in that situation. It feels to me more so like this past person just wants to come in to make love to you. <clears throat> like your sexual energy is very healing. And if they weren't sexual with you, they sense that your sexual energy would be very healing. But it's very surface level. Coldness. Yeah. The love is not going to be requited in that situation. Sadly. Yeah, the wheel. You see, the wheel is turning either way, Cancer. That's what I get here. The wheel is turning either way. Like, you have the moon. Listen to your intuition, intense emotions, deception, hidden truth, perceive with caution. The wheel is going to turn. That's what's happening here. And, yeah. The, the, the wheel is turning, and you're going to be blessed. You're, bl you're going to be blessed and highly favored. It could even be that you're not meeting anyone. It could be that you become this mature man or mature woman, that you mature beyond your years and become very, very wise. And because of that, you have a lot when it comes to money. <clears throat> Some of you could be buying a new car. <clears throat> oh, heavy fro chakra blockage. Why is this fro chakra blockage coming up, spirit? What is up with this fro chakra blockage? What is it that my cancers need to hear? The sun? Four of wands? You're going to have a hopeful new life. Like, you're going to have a lot to celebrate. You're going to have a lot to celebrate here. They don't want you to stress or worry or fear anything. They want you to sit back and relax, okay? They're going to gift you the Six of Pentacles. They're going to gift you unexpected money. So don't worry. Your efforts aren't going unnoticed. Hmm. But it's like somebody here doesn't want you to hear this. Because I'm getting a lot of fro chakra blockage. It's like they want you to be in this place of hopelessness or... Like, are things ever going to work out for me? And Spirit is saying, yes, you're going to have success. You're going to have abundance. But you need to watch out. Because the devil energy, you need to watch out. This past person, they want to come in, but this is really what it's all about. You see, the Ten of Swords and the devil. They just want a sexual connection. You know, but... I also see here that even with this new person coming in, some of you are not interested. So you're going to have to make a choice here. Some of you are choosing to just go at it alone. Others, you're going to go with this new person. Like I said, for some of you, you're getting a new car, you're financing a new car, or you're leasing a new car. But the wheel is turning. The old energy is being swept away, and there's new energy coming in. Your life is going to change. July is the start. That's what I'm saying. July is the start of everything new. Now, I will say, Cancer, for some of you, this new person is Tauros, and they are, you know, they're wealthy. For some of you, this person could be an actor, an actress, a model. It could be uh, someone that has worked in the entertainment industry, like in the sense of movies, being on TV, Okay, or they could have been behind the scenes. They could have been a photographer, videographer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing celebrity status for some of you. Like this person is very, very well off. Very well off, but you see the past person wants to come in. You're going to have to make a decision here. Six of Cups, Four of Cups, the Tower. You're going to have to make a decision if you want to turn your back on this. So that's what I have for you for July. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.